hi, it's me, Dora V here, and it's been a minute since I've done uh, comments, and this is a, yeah, let me just do that, ha, that, that, that's a little screenshot grabber I have, but anyway, holy bath and body works, Eric Cook, wow, I saw this on Twitter initially, and this is a bit excessive. I mean, wow. I mean, unless he's reselling them. Because, I mean, that's a totally a thing. Like, people will buy Bath and Body Works on clearance. And um, and then they'll turn around and resell it. And I've done the same thing with Body Glitter. And I still have a couple items up on eBay. But, uh, I mean, if he's doing that, then who cares, you know. But I don't think he is. And so that's an awful lot in the candles. Damn. But a lot of dislikes and not a whole lot of likes. And that's actually kind of uncommon with him. Let's see what the people have to say. If someone ever robs that house, they'll be so disappointed to find nothing but journals and Bath and Body Works crap. I don't know. It's a lot of people like Bath and Body Works. See the replies? Yeah. <laughs> He's slow. No offense, honestly, to truly anybody. He forgot the scented candles. And then, so yeah, consumerism in a dictionary. You're going to see a picture of Amberlynn and Eric. Well, yeah, that's excessive, though. I can't even finish a quarter of this video. Just blah, blah, mindless consumption, waste, and narcissism. It's honestly sad and depressing. Bruh. If I ever hear him complain about a lack of money again... His head is somewhere in the clouds. It must be the water that household drinks because they all crazy. Buying all that junk is definitely a problem. Obsession is not the word, but it's definitely a problem. Yeah, hoarding, which is a symptom. Disgusting habit to waste your money on. Not worth any cents. However, buying things from Love Nikki is totally worth it. <laughs> no, okay, okay, kind of like curb that one too, though. Just be careful, all right? But he's not being careful. This is sad. This whole house is full of a bunch of hoarders and people who throw their money away on junk. Whether it be junk food or way too much BBW products, this is way out of hand. Well, at least with food you eat it, you know, and it helps you survive. But still, yeah, this is much. This is a lot. So this is why you can't afford your own car. Lamau! Oh, that's true. Haramberlin Reed. <laughs> nice username. This is such a horrible, useless, careless waste of money. Weren't you just complaining the other day about having to buy a new car battery? Those run like $50, and yet here you are spending a shit ton on bath and body works? Priorities! Fix them! Instead of buying so many products that smell like the ocean or the beach, why not save your money and take a trip to the beach? Why buy so much stuff when you can be making fun memories with your husband? That's good advice right there. I really don't want to be mean, but all that money wasted on cheap smelling crap could have gone to such a wonderful vacation with your hubby. Like go to Disney World or a cruise. Yeah, I agree there too. Eric, too fragile for a job at Bath and Body Works, but not too fragile to spend 17 hours in there buying all this shit that will expire in six months. Ooh. The scent from the candles filters out the bed boredom, out of the boredom, out of the boredom and loneliness within the house of three adults not working in their prime age. I don't know. This, would you hire any of these people? I wouldn't. Ricky's really the only one. The rest of them I'd pay not to work, to be honest. Well, screw them. Holy cow, and all these chemicals. 300 candles. Stock ball for breeze, body washes, and body sprays. Maybe open your windows and air out the smell instead of covering it up. Yeah. Summary. Yearns to be gluten-free again. Spends 50k at Bath and Body Works. Have a little honest look at yourself and stop before you turn into Amber Lynn. Winging, filming when you just woke up, hoarding and not working. For fuck's sake, grow up! You're a bore and always seem sad. Get a life. Nah, he'll probably... I thought he was improving himself, though. I guess that was a facade for the views. I can't imagine how Ricky must feel going to work every day for a paycheck and health care for himself and spouse and comes home and sees the crap his spouse spends money on. I don't care if YouTube is his job and he earns money. If you can afford to spend money like that, let your husband quit his job and you support him. 
I can't imagine, like, Ricky really being that sort of person, though. I think he would prefer to have money of his own. Today on Watching a Grown Man, talk about scents that I used to wear in middle school. <laughs> why, why does anyone need all this stinky lotions and washes? This is actually more repulsive and wasteful than a Kardashian-Jenner kid's B-Day party. Wasteful, wasteful. Well, most of the waste is done by Kardashian types, so uh, go after them, too. Everyone in this house has anxiety, and all you guys do is continue to bring in more clutter. Clutter has proven to trigger anxiety. It does? Okay. Jesus Christ, you're all pushing 30. Please get a grip on reality. Do you have a retirement fund? No, I doubt it. Savings? You're too old to not be thinking about the future. You're basically lighting your money on fire. This is depressing as fuck. He's acting like Bath and Body Works is such a hot commodity and super rare. Eric, there is a BBW in every single mall in America, on top of tons of freestanding stores, as well as a website you can order from. It cracks me up when he acts like, oh my god, this is the last one, grab it. I've always blamed Amber for the hoarding in that house, but damn, looks like that blame could be spread around. If I bought that much crap at Bath and Body Works, I would be too embarrassed to put it on your YouTube. You said that will last you two to three months? What the hell? Is Amber eating it? <laughs> Yeah. Just came the thumbs down. I literally can't stand his monotone Kermit voice and his watch paint dry quality content. Sorry, not sorry. Ooh, I'm gonna head on over to Kiwi Farms in a bit, see what they have to say. Now, you know they've gotta be saying something. Um, anyway. Yikes! More money than cents! Yep. Jesus, why? You should never have a complaint about money, ever. The pure fuckery in that house this video straight up sucks as usual i just watched an episode of hoarders where the woman had so much bath and body works products reminding me of you you need to stop buying this crap jesus christ oh my god what a waste this money could be spent on so many other things you definitely need more of in life yeah oh oh <laughs> This whole household is like the seven deadly sins. Eric, greed. Also sloth. Becky, sloth. Also gluttony. Amberlynn, gluttony. Also greed, pride, sloth, and envy. Destiny, lust. Also sloth and gluttony. Dana, pride. Also sloth and gluttony. Rafe, envy. Also sloth and gu gluttony. Well, where is the wrath? Yeah, I guess wrath. Yeah, who's wrath? I don't know. Whatever. Wow, such a waste of money. You only needed one of each. Are you hiding a smell? I would much rather watch a huge marijuana haul. I would too. Some CBD oils and vape stuff? Hell yeah. At least it helps you, you know? All that money wasted on that crap. And wasn't it just last month or so when they were freaking out about how they were going to pay for an unexpected car repair? Was it a new tire or something like that? Save your damn money for necessities and quit wasting all that money. I just want to spend a day in that house. Just a day. Just to know. I'm unsubscribing. Same stuff every time. They all need to be in counseling. The whole house has issues. And they need to go separate ways and get help. There are they're, they're hypochondriacs and hoarders. He actually calls us content. <laughs> it's Hoarderville. You should work at Bath and Body Works. Yeah. Hmm. It's an idea. I thought it would be interesting to try and guess what they spend on this haul. This is a rough estimate, and of course not reflected of what they actually spent after sales and coupons. You see, that's the thing. He might have gotten it on clearance somehow. Maybe he is reselling them. I don't know. So anyway, what they actually spent after sales and coupons, so don't come for me. Okay, let's see. $15 body wash spray lotion times 30. $450. I thought body wash was like $12.50 or I guess it depends on the size. I don't know. $40 perfume times three. $120. $2 sanitizer times eight. $16. $7.50 hand soaps times four. $30. Five, five dollar loofah? What the fuck? Dude, you can get a loofah for 99 cents at Publix. At Publix. Anyway, or $3.99. Jeez, five dollar loofah times two. $10. 1250 candles times 9 is uh, uh, 112.50. Actually, some of those candles can be up to like $23 depending on the size, but anyway, 112.50. Total 
if they were on sale for 50% off, it's still $384.25 before tax. If it was 75% off, it's still $192.13. God, think of the groceries you can get with that and other things, and that would have paid for their car repair. So anyway, there are so many far more important things to spend money on. You said it yourself that you just gave away a ton of bath and body works. Why go buy more? I think that the employees see you all coming and take advantage of y'all. Not only is this a massive amount of money, waste of money and resources, it's terrible for your bodies. Let the documentary stink, and it will open your eyes. There's a documentary called Stink? Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Imagine what you could spend on that money that actually added joy and value to your life, like a vehicle or vacation. Just because you have money to burn doesn't mean you should go ham. True that. Mm-hmm. Anyway... Yeah, it figures, it figures, yeah, Kiwi Farms is on this like a fly on shit. It just, it's, it's very new though, they finally posted it today, but yeah, here we are. Eric just dropped a hefty chunk of money on more Bath and Body Works garbage. He probably spent $500 or more. His precious hoard grows with every day. Damn. Like I said though, he could be reselling them. Yeah, who knows? Like, maybe we should ask. Like, what does he do? Sue him and all that stuff. <laughs> I guess so. I don't know. The smell in that house must be truly vile for all of them to hoard so many scented products. He doesn't seem the least bit phased by the implication here, which is hilarious. That house must smell like a beautiful blend of chem lab carnations with just a touch of feces. <laughs> Yeah, like someone shot a pine tree. Gee, I wonder who that was. <laughs> oh, man. And then, boy, that shitty therapy mill they go to seems to be helping everyone. Amber is such a blob who is gaining at an alarming weight and is growing more delusional every day, who loves to jump on and off meds whenever she decides to. Becky is still insane and lobotomized just as, not as much since it took several months for her quacks to change her dope from coma to walking coma. Eric is consuming soap, body sprays, and candles at a breakneck pace as he never feels clean from being molested as a kid. Ooh, yikes. Still not working and him going to school is bullshit since he spent hundreds of dollars on this shit and not a second car to go get into school. But meanwhile, he can prance and mince about Bath and Body Works grabbing everything not nailed down. Wow, that therapy is sure helping! Yeah, damn. I mean, Ricky could take him to school, and, and they would pay tuition for sure. He's another Amber. He's just skinnier than here. Oh, look at this. It says, it hurts being told you're not good enough. Okay, like... Oh my god, I really think you should date Amberlynn Reed. I can tell there's a lot of chemistry and sexual tension between you. We are already dating? Um, okay. No, she just thinks she's being funny and cute. And poor Mumbles. It's almost like he posted that video thinking it was a good idea. Everything Amber touches becomes worse off than before. Oh, that makes sense. Wasn't any of those things, though, and just left me really confused. What is so great about Bath and Body Works that these people spend their life savings accumulating this crap? I don't get it. I bet these people have never used all of anything they buy. I guess the concept of buying only what you need is lost in these gluttonous asshats. Now the thing is, I like Bath and Body Works myself, but damn... I just got, like, some body wash that was, like, they have this coupon that you get it for free. That's all I got. And even on the clearance sale, I just got just a few things, and that's it. I mean, resold at least one pack, but, but whatever, whatever. I mean, I just, just too much. I mean, it could be something that you might, I mean, I don't know that's useful, but there's still such a thing as too much, and scented items are pretty useful, but it's just too much, okay? That's the point. It's just too much. Yeah, but hoarding's a sickness, so... Anyway, there are lots about all of them I don't get, but what you need in a few spares if it's something you use a lot, especially if it's on sale, but that amount of candles, it's not as if they're decorative items either. Yeah, he's basically saying the same thing. It's just too much, and I think I've said too much. I'm done. Done with this. See you later. Goodbye.